Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. You would say that, Mr. Pendek. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Tower, please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, uh, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Alien Phil scum all in it together, is it? It's time TJ Deezer showed them the power of human cock. And settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Shut up, Houdini, or I'm gonna wrap my dick around your neck and start you like a goddamn lawnmower. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. See that you do, you hook-nosed fuck-up. And that's why I hate politicians. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. Huh. My name is Avina. What are you and why? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Fully interactive? We've heard of this on Earth. A virtual sex bot. Would you give TJ Deezer a virtual blowjob now? My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. A sex bot that doesn't know what it's doing. Fucking useless. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. I'll do that! I'll have you shut down in a space minute. Don't promise and not deliver. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met, Blizzard? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I sense an unpleasant tone. You don't like the way humans aren't fuck-ugly lizard-bird-type creatures, do you? No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. How dare you, Flizzard? We humans look down on creatures like you. We spit on you. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? Look, I take it back. You are dark and handsome. I agree. When it's dark, you're handsome. We'll get along fine as soon as you realize I'm God. Never. Soldier? What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Wait, maybe it is. 
Are you packing the required gear right now? Phaser? Chewing gum? Space condom? Is your shirt tucked in? Are you representing yourself and me as your commander in the appropriate manner? That is, soldier. I'm just kidding. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Blue Bitch Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. She's a hooker? You didn't engage in interstellar relations, did you, Private? I, uh... No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. She must be really good, then. Can a man and a blue bitch really exchange bodily fluids without creating some kind of new strand of evil diseases? Where is she? She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? It'll be right now. Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. <laughs> Lil Shay, what do you do here? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Acolytes? Is that blue bitch for space hooker? As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. My dick is tense right now. Maybe you can help. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll have relieved myself about 120 times before then. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Who <laughs> do you? Melina. You smug cunt. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. What's going on? Well? Well, speak! Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Of course she does. No female from any race can resist TJDC. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. That is close enough, Commander. Huh? I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. You've never had an orgasm and you want T.J. Deezer to help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, huh? I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. First of all, don't touch me without permission. Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. I never said I'd do it. Huh? If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Is this a come on? Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Huh? Few are ever asked to aid Shaira. It's quite an honor. Really? Running errands for some blue bitch? What an honor. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Blizzard, Blizzard! Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Looks like you bumbled epically. Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I've never said that. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. The hearing's already started. Come on. Captain, why do all these aliens speak English? With Earth accents, too, no less. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. 
We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre, and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. No, you pwned the beacon! Then you tried to let it pwn me! Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to jam that beacon right up your ass. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. We humans are superior to you. That's why Earth Girl Porn is the most popular in the Lizard Space Internet. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Whatever visions I had, there was nothing gay about them, alright? I had a vision for a council ran by humans. And lizards and aliens and blue people just fuck off. The council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. You suck, Udina. Thanks for wasting my time. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I'll deal with him and pwn him. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. He's a blizzard, and therefore not to be trusted. Not all Turians are like Saren. If he can help, we need to find him. I have a contact in c -Sec who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I don't like people making decisions about what I'll handle. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Fuck off, Udina. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. You and Saren, what's between you? I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people deserve to die if TJ Laser can win. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I'm beginning to like this lizard very much.